Oh, wow. Okay, so this is crazy. This is crazy. They are coming in like nothing else. Oh, dear. I think we're in some trouble. Hello reformers and welcome back to Freeman and well as you can see here we're gonna start our uh, shall we say our efforts to eliminate some of the terrorists from surrounding their town because I have a bad feeling that if we were to take the town even though we have weakened it a little bit if we were to take it I think we'd have some slight issues and those issues would probably be a basic instant retaliation against us and we'd not be very happy about that would we no we wouldn't be too happy so what i've been doing is running around trying to level these guys up let me just say that these guys are absolute bastards they really are they have taken so long to level up and i've literally had not had one squad level up and i fought so many enemies and every single time, these guys are literally the worst. They have decided to be so difficult, and I don't exactly know why that is. It's probably just because of my strategy or whatever the case may be. But usually, what I'm doing is just taking good cover, and I'm allowing our forces to get a decent height advantage if there is one and they're just not capable of killing the enemies for some reason. I had one battle where we almost got wiped out because we were against a one-star terrorist group. And you think to yourselves, oh, look at that, a one-star terrorist group. That surely can't be that difficult? Yeah, it actually is. It's very difficult. I have no idea why that would be, but it's all right. Oh, did you see this guy? He just shot this guy in the back. Yes, this guy's taking a lot of damage from our own forces, apparently, which is kind of amusing in itself. Ooh, there we go. We're taking a little bit of damage from an explosive. And that's the point. I feel like we, uh, we're going to need to just stand here, I feel. Let's just wait. Let's just clear our waypoints, shall we? Because this is, this is maybe a good enough position, I suppose. Seems like a good enough position at the, at the very least. I am still a little bit sick, by the way, so that might be the reason why you hear me be a bit nasal still. But other than that, I'm on the mend. And uh, thank you very much for all of your supportive comments as well. I do appreciate that, and a couple of your private messages as well. As that is very, very nice of you. Anyway, point is, we're going to be hoping to take the nearby town relatively soon. But eh, relatively soon is kind of relative in the grand scheme of things because I was hoping that I would have some really really powerful units at the moment you know squads getting these these elite infantry and getting these conscript squads leveled up into their highest tiers that's what I've been attempting to do let's let's get our let's get our night vision out and see if that actually helps us out a little bit here because well it is pretty dark. I mean, without it, it's pretty dark. I mean, I can still see. I'm pretty sure you can still see, but maybe it would be a good idea to try this out a little bit. Ah, hello there. There's some fellows that we're going to be tackling. Oh, yes. Nice kill already. That's pretty good. The range on this is absolutely insane. Oh, there we go. Finally. Finally, one of my elite infantry squads has advanced in level. I am so overjoyed. Can you believe it? Ah. Yes, it has taken me numerous, numerous battles, and I'm talking real numerous here. I'm talking about, like, I don't even know, 20, 25 battles for these guys to do much? I mean, it's kind of weird as well, because you'd think that these elite guys would actually have a really easy time of getting experience and things, and I'm taking a bit of damage here. But when you actually get down to the nitty-gritty of things, they're actually not that good. I, I, I don't know why. Maybe it's because I was against that one-star terrorist group and it kind of shook their confidence or something. But, yeah, it, let me just say that things have not been going very well for me in my off-screen time. And, you know, that's, that's sometimes the case. You know, sometimes, you know, you're trying to do some off-screen progress or you're trying to just play the game in general. 
And I'm talking about you as well playing the game if you if you indeed own it or just playing a game in general. You know, I mean, you must be interested in gaming if you're watching this, obviously. But point is, if you're playing a game and you're trying to progress and you're trying to get your forces leveled up or you're trying to get your character leveled up or whatever the case may be, or if you're playing SimCity and you're trying to get your sewage under control, whatever the case. It is always very frustrating when things don't go to plan, and that's exactly what's happened. Oh yes, I've just not really been able to get these guys getting kills. And you may think to yourselves, well, why, why is that? Because, I mean, you can see here that in this particular battle, our riflemen are doing absolutely fine. You know, they're, they're killing things, no problem at all. And I've got to be really careful here, because I don't really want to get shot in the face. Oh, there's the guy. All right. So, yeah, you can see here, look at this. I only killed five enemies, and our guys killed, well, 19 of them, and we only lost one. And so you must be thinking to yourselves, surely that is easy to level up your squads. Well, that's the thing. I, I don't know why, but every single time I go up against these terrorists, I am having the worst luck. If you go against them, with any one of these one-star groups, this was actually not a one-star group that we were fighting just here. This was literally a zero-star group. And you can see here, I mean, I'm all the way over here because I've literally had to chase this one bandit party all over the map. And I'm talking about all the way from Broesno, all the way over here, over here. And there's an FCA group over there, so I will not be able to be, you know, anywhere near them. I won't be able to fight them. Oh, some bandits. Hello. Oh. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, you, you know what's happening, yes. Alright, so basically what I'm going to try to do very, very soon... Wow, this is crazy. This is really crazy. Okay, so yeah, it seems like we're going to get an attack happening on Berezno very, very soon. As you can see, 29, 50, 111, 3 star difficulty. Actually, they might be... Yep, there we go. 125 men have decided to go in to the siege of Berezno. And let me just say, that is preposterous. It really is. I mean, how am I supposed to defend against such a large force? Well, I guess we're going to find out. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> yes, I'm not entirely sure how well we're going to do here, but... Yeah, you can see here that I've amassed a pretty sizable amount of wealth, just literally because we have been doing so many battles. But unfortunately, the battles have not resulted in our forces actually getting that many level ups. I mean, I'm just going to pay our salary, of course, thank you very much. And we're going to level these guys up into a heavy infantry squad. That is the maximum level that these guys can actually reach and as you can see they're using the light machine guns so this is basically an mg squad from this faction so i'm pretty happy about that you can see here that i basically spent like eight thousand leveling them up or something like that but yes anyway this is my new stat line by the way, I've decided to level up a little bit more inventory because as you can see, I've had to kind of stock up a little bit more on food because these guys, they eat like nothing else. And I've been able to level up our leadership and medical skill, first aid, etc. All to seven because I've been attempting just to make our guys just survive, basically. And uh, yeah, I actually have not done a very good job at retrieving more units because as you can see here I actually do have some space weirdly enough I'm not actually able to see how many forces I actually have here but yeah I am able to have many more forces in my party following me I think I have another 20 spaces or so so another four squads worth which is pretty good so yeah anyway let's go in and defend the town of Berezno against the bandit menace. This is not going to go well, is it? Yes. Okay, so oh, they're, they're coming in from the side here. All right. Well, that's not too bad. Now, do bear in mind, I do have a Posner sniper squad. So, in theory, I should be fine. But... Uh, this is, uh, this is it's going to be difficult, I feel. It's going to be difficult. All right, so we're going to put the Posner Sniper Squad over here. These trees are hopefully going to cover them suitably enough. And then we just got to get some elite infantry 
and we're gonna we're gonna hopefully put the can you ah oh, yes thank you very much okay I was gonna say can you please get selected by my mouse thank you thank you very much that would be nice all right so let's put these guys over here maybe over here now this is this is pretty awful isn't it yeah this is ah there we go that seems a little bit better and I'm gonna try and just like dart them around just dot them around a little bit here heavy infantry squad I guess this is gonna be pretty useful so I'm gonna put it behind this little little shack area here and we're gonna just get some more rifle squads and we can just place these in somewhat tactical strategic locations the best I can at least but what, what we're trying to do is basically get them to be I can't zoom in any further ah oh, the crime of it all yes well we're just going to try and get them in suitable enough positions so that the enemy will just come in here and get absolutely cut down by our forces obviously there are a numerous amount of different strategies that you can take here this is by far not the most optimized one certainly not and yeah we're gonna be using our night vision is this too bright is it too bright yeah anyway let's see what we can do here I'm gonna I, I was actually thinking of playing a kind of flanking soldier in this particular fight but I think that could probably spell our doom so it'd probably be a better idea for me not to do that but I am pretty effective you know I mean our character is pretty strong at the moment you can see here he has 219 HP which is pretty crazy so let's see if we're gonna be able to survive here I, I this is this is awful these trees are absolutely ah there, there we go this trees this tree is a little bit better there we go this is where I want to be all right hello there that is indeed an enemy as far as I'm aware yep it is kill that raider thank you very much kill that looter just gonna try and inspire fear in the opponent that is what we are going to attempt because as long as they fear us we have already achieved half a victory I suppose Oh wow okay so this is crazy this is crazy they are coming in like nothing else oh dear I think we're in some trouble are we are we in some trouble that's the thing I wish our sharpshooter would kill more I certainly do So far, our forces are absolutely doing an amazing job, I've got to say. I, I must commend them. I really must commend them. And they're going to get cupcakes on top of their normal payout bonuses. That is for sure, because literally, have you seen the amount of damage they've been able to do? And they're not taking any damage themselves, which is even better. I mean, really. I do not want them taking damage. Let's heal. There we go. Oh no, there we go, there's a grenade, that's a grenade, that's taken out one of our elite infantry squads, let's tell them to retreat, let's get a, a rifle squad and let's take them, let's get them over here, just continue to get them in reasonable positions and oh wow, okay, I think I might be in some trouble here. They're trying to flank me, they are trying to flank me, I'm going to try and retreat if I can. I'm gonna get shot up a little bit here all right so let's get these guys out over here because they're kind of hiding a bit too much for my liking okay you see those guys there's a load of them
All right, we're gonna have to retreat a, a couple of them. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, we're gonna have to get these guys. I'm just gonna spawn them in right there. They can just they can just attack whatever they want over there, and then hopefully they'll get a couple of kills, if any, and maybe distract the enemy a little bit. That is the goal of the looter party. They died very quickly. Okay, let's tell these guys to come in from the side. What are these guys doing? Are you serious? Come on, get over there. Get over there. Alright, so yeah, they're taking a lot of damage right now, but that's okay. That is absolutely fine. As long as they're able to kill a couple of enemies, that's all that matters. I'm taking fire. I am taking fire. But where from? That's the thing. 47 enemies remaining. Ow, whoa, okay. I'm taking a lot of damage. My armor is basically almost gone, so I will be literally left alone without any protection whatsoever, which is not very good. Let's get my looters going in there. Go looters! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Alright, so how are we doing here? My sharpshooters are no longer available, by the way, so obviously that is a big, big problem. My looters are basically all dying here. How are my... Where, where's my sniper... Oh, my sniper teams are here. Okay, so let's get one of these sniper teams, and let's get the sniper team around here, I suppose. Okay, where are the enemies? I don't see any enemies. It's 41. I, th I think we're going to have to retreat. I literally think we're going to have to retreat. I don't think we will have any way of winning this. I mean, we might. We might be able to. It really just depends. I mean, maybe if I'm able to kind of consolidate our lines a little bit from the back here, we should have a bit of an advantage as they come over. So I'm going to place these rangers over here. We're going to start to reinforce our back lines a little bit. Let's get some mercenary veteran squads over here. Okay, 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 okay come on now. Can you, can you, there we go. Let's get that guy over here and just place him right there. There are some enemies right on top of him, but he should be absolutely fine to kill them. You can see here we have 28 versus 33, and I I should be okay a little bit. Where's where's the opponent? I can see the, them firing, but I don't know where they are. Wish I had heat vision or something. That would be pretty cool. Thermal vision, that's what I'm talking about. I like some thermals. What this this guy is is still is still living? Okay, I'm just gonna tell him to to retreat, I guess, so that I can actually get someone that's kind of useful in here. Okay, could, could you, could you, oh wow, okay, yeah, that, uh, there we go, that's a bit of an issue. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna get these guys behind here as well, we're just gonna try and consolidate as much as we can, so that our forces are kind of all grouped up together, so that they can cover each other, and, uh, well, hopefully that's gonna result in a reasonable advantage for us. Okay, I don't have any more medkits now, so if I take any damage, then that will just have to be healed up by our first aid skill. I'm going to try and run over here because I think there are some enemies in this direction. There's one. He's down. I think we might have this. I think we might have this. That is a pretty decisive well is it a is it a decisive victory i don't exactly know i mean at the moment we seem to be doing all right but i don't know maybe it's maybe it's not good enough ooh this is not good this is not good i was thinking to myself there's no one here surely and now I need to reload. That's fantastic. Alright, so I'm out in the middle of nowhere. This is a bad decision on my part. Certainly is. Let us run. Let us run in the opposite direction. And hopefully not get shot in the face any further. I mean, I still have 112 HP, which is actually more than you start off, start off with in the, you know, in the beginnings of the game. But... Uh, these guys are gonna just kill you real quick. So yeah, it's probably a, 
better idea to just err on the side of caution, shall we? Yes. Erring on the side of caution is certainly something that I'm not particularly good at. So, yes, let's be a little bit careful. All right, anyone need uh, some retreating? No, well, our heavy infantry are still alive. And they're doing amazing work. Oh, my. All right, it seems like I'm going to need to concentrate on leveling a couple more of those guys up. And we're going to need to get some more Posner sharpshooters as well. Do we still have some of those, by the way? Are they still alive? Let me actually just take a look. Posner sharpshooter... Where, where, where are they? Sniper team? I don't see them. Did they literally get killed? Is that them over there? That, that, that looks like a mercenary team, but... Oh, wow. If they really got killed, I will be very disappointed. Oh, well, never mind. That is, that's my own fault for not paying attention, I suppose, to their HP in appropriate time. So, yes. I guess that's what just what happens. I mean, generally, when you're in... <laughs> yeah, if, if you're playing this game and you're, you're, you know, or you're having some difficulties or whatever, then this is a tip that I've kind of come to know from hard lessons. Very hard lessons indeed. And that is... If you are fighting a battle with bigger odds than yourself, then you generally don't want to be fighting too much yourself. You literally want to be allowing your forces to do most of the work, and then if you start to gain the upper hand, or if you have a bunch of forces, as you saw me do in this video, if you have a bunch of forces of the enemy coming in from some area and you have a decent enough weapon, then it is a really, really good idea to just kill them as fast as you can. You can see there, 125 enemy casualties, 48 friendly casualties. I killed 30 of them, which is not actually that good, but our forces did an amazing job. Look at that, 22,000 experience for our party and 34,000 for us. But yes, my main tip is literally to command your units, to be the commander that they need in this kind of situation. Because if you don't, they're going to be left out of left out of it, basically. I mean, you could see there that I was getting a little bit flustered in the middle, you know, because that's, that's just natural, you know, you're going to get a bit flustered when you are outnumbered by such a degree and all of your forces are falling left, right and center. But eventually, we were able to achieve a victory because I, I kind of, you know, got a little bit more leveled out and I was able to start spawning some decent enough units into the battle and they indeed ended up helping us. So yeah, that's that's a bit of a bit of a tip there. I mean, I, I, I guess you've already kind of seen that if you've been watching these series of videos. So <laughs> anyway, there you go. That is a pretty fantastic defense, if I do say so myself. A three star siege attack. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.